Hi, Deb here. Welcome to my craft room. Right, I've got this pixie box. I love the glow of a pixie box. Gorgeous, aren't they? Let's open it up and see what's inside, shall we? Right, as you can see when we open it up, geometric shapes. We'll put that to one side for now. And we'll do the tissue paper. Oh, first of all, the first thing I can see is bail tape. That's always handy. I love a bit of bail tape. And then, oh, that's beautiful. A little gem mould. Can you see that? That is gorgeous. That'll make a nice little gem, won't it? Let me have a fly in here. And what's this? Hmm, it looks like they, how they wrap up their gold leaf paper. But that doesn't look gold to me through there. <gasps> Pink leaf. Isn't that stunning? Pink leaf. Oh, that is very exciting. What's this? Oh, heart glitter. I have got some, but you can never have enough heart glitter, can you? Iridescent heart glitter. Gorgeous. Oh, look at these foils. Aren't they pretty? Um... Very, I'm not sure what I'll use them for, but they are very, very pretty. Very pretty. And then I have three mica powders. We have sapphire blue, which is a gorgeous colour. And then rose red, which is also gorgeous. And bright, bright orange. Very nice. And some tiny little bales. Open back bezels. And there's hearts, squares and ovals. Two hearts, two squares and two ovals. You could make a bracelet out of that. That would make a nice bracelet. Or you could make earrings. Um, three sets of earrings. And here we have a heart bale. A closed heart bale. Bezel. Sorry, I don't know what's in the bales at the moment. Heart bezel, that's gorgeous, isn't it? That'd make a nice necklace. Oh, this, inclusions, they are beautiful. Can you see? That's got crystals, green beads, looks like gold ball chain. And little gold pieces. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. Little gemstones. They are adorable. Oh, it's a shame to use them, isn't it? I might just keep them in the bottle. They are lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but they are lovely. And then we have, oh, earring stumps and backs. So those are Obviously got an earring mould in here somewhere, haven't we? And, oh, earring hooks. Very nice. I like a hooked earring. Those are the ones I like, dangly hooked earrings. And these are the, oh yes, just the jump rings. Right, so, aha, uh -huh. right. These are for the straight earrings. They're yeah, beautiful mould. Love the shape. A bit too big for me. I don't go for huge earrings, but I'm going to have a go at making them anyway. Very attractive little coaster mould. Very, very pretty. You could you could paint the micas on there, or wait until it's finished and put UV resin in it or something. That is very, very attractive. I do like that. Very nice. And this is like a geometric, the geometric shapes in that are gorgeous, aren't they? I think that's probably a dish. Yes, I would have said that was like a trinket dish. Very, very nice. Look at the shine. Love, I love a shiny mould. Ah, and here are the earrings. <laughs> Earring mould, that is going to be fun. That is absolutely going to be fun. Really excited about making those. Really excited. And last but not least, we have a very nice mould. 
I take it that's a dish. It's got quite a deep edge, yet yeah, that's going to be a dish as well. I'm not sure what I'll do with that, but I like it very much. And I'm not sure if that's going to wipe out or not, but we'll have to wait and see. Right, let's pop it all back in the box and have a look at the book then, shall we? Let's lift those up like that. We don't want to be losing anything, do we? That's a lot of bale tape for those tiny little bales, isn't it? <laughs> right, geometric shapes. Oh, upside down. Let's make sure we got everything. Shape, shapes, open bezel, holographic hearts, hearts, yes. Oh, look, I like the way they've made their trinket box. Trinket dish, that looks like they've included paper or something behind it. Patterned paper, that's very attractive. And that one. The tray, that looks like they've included patterned paper. Now that is interesting. That is something I may have to look into. Right, so that's everything we got. Beautiful. Right, let's close the box up. Put it away and soon I'll be able to get on with something. Thank you for joining me. Bye. Now we're going to make the two different trays that were in the pixie box. I've mixed up 80, not 800, 80 grams of um, epoxy resin and I'm going to add the gold pigment that was in the New Year's, that was in the, yeah, the, um, Chinese New Year Elves box. Right, we're back. Um, I demoulded this, just I've left it to set for 24 hours. I demoulded the gem and it hasn't actually turned out, the gold hasn't turned out very nice at all. I was hoping for a gold that looked like this on the other side, but it's it just looks like a mucky brown colour. Let's demold this one and see what we think of this. Maybe I should have used this resin this um pigment as a it looks okay it's just not what i wanted maybe i should have used it as a powder instead of mixed it with the resin so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to make them with this but i'm not at all impressed by it I'm gonna, but i'm going to carry on finish what i've started and then I'm going to try it again with rubbing the gold in um, and see if that comes out any differently. I might rub it in the in here, in the little gem, and see if it comes out differently. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that now. Right, I'm back. Let me just move you over a little bit. That's it. I've mixed my resin. Uh, sorry about that. I've mixed my resin. Um, it's here. Cool. I'm just decanting a little bit. And now, and I've also cut out my material, which I'm going to put in these pieces. It's beautiful. Look, beautiful. It's like a tie dye with gold overlay. And I'm not sure how to do this, but I think I'm going to lay the pieces in there like that so that they go in, probably not cut perfectly, but we'll lay the pieces in there like that so, because the, the resin will soak through the material, hopefully, 
and go to the front. Now I know this is likely to cause bubbles, but if we don't try it, we won't know, will we? Right, I'll see you in 24 hours when they're cured. Right, are we up? here we are, back the next day. First of all, we'll demould the next little gem, although I didn't fill it all the way. Ah, oh, now that is definitely, turn it in the right way, that is definitely rubbing this powder, the gold powder, in the latest elves box onto the resin gives you the most wonderful result that's what happens when you mix it in the resin that's what happens when you rub it onto the mold beautiful so in future we'll be rubbing it on the mold that is lovely look at the difference beautiful right so that's that now we're going to demold these two bits with the material in I will have to trim it off after can you see the material was too big but we'll demold it first and see what we think obviously it would look very much nicer if I'd painted the gold powder on first but I didn't so we'll look at it as it is now that has come out really nicely and if you can imagine that with that gold on the edges that would be lovely wouldn't it i really like that um only thing is some of the material some of the resin didn't soak through the material so i think the next time i do it I need to put a coat of resin down first rather than putting the material on the dry resin. Can you see all those little spots? They're just plain material where there's no resin. So next time, I think it must be material first, resin first and then material. Let's have a look at the large one as well, shall we? This is easier to demould because it's only on the edges. I mean, it's actually beautiful. But, yeah, there's patches. The material obviously didn't go right up to the edge there, which is a shame. But there are patches where there was no resin. So I need to, um, I need to start again. I will show you this. But I'll start again, do it again properly, and we'll see the effect we get then. Thank you. Hi. Right, welcome back. Now we are going to paint the gold powder, the gold pigment powder, into the grooves. Now, I'm going to get my resin ready. Right, hey, we're back. My resin is mixed and clear. Oh, 
I, right, we're back with the next lot of resin mixed up. Hello, good morning. Right, we're back to demould these. They are a bit, they're very rubbery actually, very bendy, but I couldn't wait. I'm being very, very impatient. I couldn't wait to demould them. But look how bendy they are. How naughty of me doing it now. They are beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so pleased with that. Can you see how there's no bubbles? The gold is stunning. Matches the gold on the material. That is beautiful. Right, now let's get the big one out. Absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry if the light's shining on it. That is perfect. I absolutely love it. Right, so that's those. I'll try and put it so the light's not shining on it. Yeah, I can't, can I? That is those. Let's move the light away a bit. Right, that is those two done and that one done out of the pixie box. The geographic, the geometric shape pixie box. I am so pleased with those. They are beautiful. Well, thank you very much for joining me in my craft room. Um, I hope to see you here again soon. Thank you. Bye.